What is good, you lovely people of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy back with another reaction. Uh, we just finished watching episode seven, and we watched six before that, and now we're getting an episode eight of AOT Final Season Part Two. This journey has been amazing, and I'm so glad I left a couple weeks to binge a couple episodes because I miss doing this. I miss doing this whenever I first watched the show, like whenever I first got into it, and the whole first season was out, and just watching that whole thing, I was like, oh, dude, so good. Anyway, let's get into episode eight. This should be a good one. We just saw at the end that uh, Levi is indeed alive. He's just messed up. And Hanji is trying to talk to the Car Titan and uh, General Magath, or Commander Magath, whatever. And so, yeah, let's just get into it, guys. What's, what's going on here? Oh! Done. Dead. This is probably going to take us back to a little bit with uh, Hanji and Levi. Yeah. You're. Yeah, she hates doing this. Killing her own people. Damn, bro. He messed up. Bro, he gonna have some badass scars now. I tell you that much. Shit, she did a pretty good job patching him up, though. Saved his damn life. Yeah. So this is when they heard Aaron's speech. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Oh, man, look at that, bro. He's missing his index and his middle finger. That's so weird. Imagine having just this. Yo, what? <laughs> yeah, Hanji, Hanji, I bet, like, wants to relax so bad, but she's, she's always thinking of the next move. の奴は今どこにいる here we go. Pride. Ah, damn. These motherfucking titans thick as shit. What the hell? Bro, it, it, dude, it's nighttime. It's the middle of the night. They're trying to get some sleep, and they're still walking by. That's how many there are. Oh my god! Oh, how cute. Annie and Hitch. Look, everybody getting their, la their last slumber. 
Okay, so that's how they're going to catch up, because Connie and Falco are taking a break. They're getting rest. I don't know, bro. That'd probably be the easiest way. Do you really have it in you, though? See, come on, Connie. Starting to feel guilt. あなたの独り言が聞こえてきますかおまいがし飛行船でガビに撃たれた仲間の兵士ですよねあなたは俺が誰かを知りながら知らないふりして Bro, AOT soundtracks are so good. Like, just like the ominous strings and like these weird sounds and stuff. Like, how does this guy write this stuff, dude? The, comp the composer, Hir Hiroyuki Sawano. Just so good. What are you gonna tell him? It's like, I wanna feed you to my mom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker. Oh, Connie, you idiot. What is that face, dude? That one wasn't nearly as bad as Yelena's, but it was pretty similar. <laughs> Bro, come on now. Yeah, he has no idea what she's talking about. You ate him, bro. Dude, Armin is such a real friend, bro. You know exactly what he's gonna do, Ani. Yeah, bro. You already told me to shut up. About time you got some sense in you. If I ain't a true friend, I don't know what is. Damn, okay, so Gabby's telling Falco everything that's happened. Yep. See, Connie, you didn't think about that, bro. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Good shit, Connie. You've always you you've been making your mother proud. I'm sure. Here we go. Back to himself. Had a quick breakdown. Running on emotion. Ah, what's her name? Louise or something? She's the one that took the scarf. Yeah, this girl's like obsessed with Mikasa ever since Mikasa saved her way, way back. Oh, damn. Maybe if you were paying attention instead of being obsessed with me because so much, you'd be alive. But hey, that's just me. Mm. 
枕は捨ててほしいと話していましたでも一人くらいだったらこのまま私とはと返した He's like, bitch, that's mine, bro. <laughs> Mix, I don't give a fuck if you're dying. Give me back my scarf, bro. <laughs> Come on now. <clears throat> Good. It's a new day, and they're still walking by. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, finally. Damn. The bells of freedom. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah. See? Nah, come on, John. You gotta get the fuck out of there. I don't believe he's gonna fucking keep on chilling with Flock. No way. Not now everybody starts celebrating, Elliot. Shinzo Sasegeo! Let's go! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I like how they just did, like, bro, what? <laughs> Yo! Yep, she gone. Hitchy,偶然アルミンホニーと会い、行動を共にすることになった。先を急ぐ。迷惑をかけた。四年間話しかけてくれてありがとう。さようなら。いい質な理由のメイトより。<laughs> Damn. Sorry, Hitch. Oh, here we go again. Damn, already? Bro, Yelena has just been broken down the press ever since Zeke lost. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but you don't see that word as much, like whore and shit, bro. Like I've been, I've been watching a uh, Game of Thrones recently, um, and they use that word a lot in that show. I mean, obviously, just because of the time they live in, it's so weird. I was not expecting that. Kill the whore! <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey, leave my man alone, bro. It's my guy. Oh, damn right, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Nothing. That too. That too. Nothing. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Call him out. Yeah, that's a very good point. They should know better than anybody. No shot.
Okay, I was about to say, bro. I couldn't remember. No, I was like, no way this motherfucker actually shoots on no Boy. Four shots. He shot it four times. That's a signal. Yeah, I think I remember. Yes, sir! I knew it, bro. Okay, yeah, now I'm starting to remember. This is when they all start, like, grouping up. Okay, yeah, Annie's in the back. Connie's there. Falco and Gabby, Mikasa. Creeping ass. Who the fuck is that? Fast ass horses. Getting the fuck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be so nasty. Oh, Hanji's here. Okay. <laughs> He's talking about Marco. Hey. No, sh okay, I was about to say, no way it's over. <laughs> Annie always kicking his ass. <laughs> Old squad back to Oh my god, of course, dude. They gave us that little snippet. Alrighty. Another amazing episode. Oh my god. Okay, I love this one. I love this one a lot. Just because it's, it's like starting to rally the troops of like the old the old squad. Like they're starting to join forces again. First it was Hanji and Levi talking to Magath and Peak about joining up. And then they finally did. And I guess they got in contact with uh John and Mikasa and whoever else overnight. And I'm I'm that's probably the reason why they showed them like as they were going to sleep. Like John was like sitting up against the wall like not really sleeping well mikasa she wasn't sleeping like she was laying in bed like kind of thinking probably thinking about shit so that's probably when they were thinking about like whether to actually join up with them or not so uh hanji levi captain magath peak i said hanji right yeah hanji levi peak magath john mikasa connie annie reiner gabby falco am i missing anybody armin Basically, basically, the, yeah, they've joined forces now. To hopefully try and stop Aaron. Like, that is crazy. Good luck with that, honestly. I, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. <laughs> well, I do. I do. But uh, you guys do not. So, uh, we're going to have to watch it together, okay? <laughs> but, uh, damn, yeah, another amazing episode. At the beginning of the beginning of this episode, um, where were we at at the very beginning? Uh, we got a little bit of... Uh, what was going on with Hanji and Levi during that whole time uh, with Zeke attacking and meeting up with Aaron. Um, she patched him up and he's actually, you know, good now. And there, and Hanji was like, you know, low key, like trying to say like, you know, what if we could just like stay here in the forest and just live out our lives here, you know, like trying to, trying to avoid it all. And like, maybe like, you know, maybe she really deep down wants to just relax and not have to think about this stuff anymore. But she knows what she really has to do and what's right and so that's why she already had the wagon ready to, to to move levi and whatnot with the horse and uh yeah they go and meet up with peak and magath and they are like yo this is our only chance we should team up like you know i showed you I, like levi was like i showed you myself in this pitiful state so like i don't give a fuck shoot or talk choose it's your decision um and uh 
that's very honorable that he can do that because you know he's been fighting them for so long and he's like listen now we have to join up because nobody else is going to be able to stop them and it does i mean i shit like you know i'm sure what's going through your guys' head right now is how the hell is this going to go down you're just gonna have to wait and see because it gets crazy but um yeah so they have that talk and then we go uh over to connie i think yeah connie and uh connie and uh falco like they chilled got some rest um while armin and gabby were traveling through the night to catch up to them which they finally did at rock and go village and get, get connie's stupid ass bro to try and convince him to get up and like uh get into a, to, to feed him to a, feed falco to his mom he was like i need you to help me brush our teeth like bro what <laughs> you couldn't come up with anything better than that and falco was actually about to do it though like his his little innocent ass I mean, he was starting to catch on, but, like, I guess he was just trying to... I don't know. <laughs> Falco was, like... He was, like, uh, okay. Yeah, sure, I can help you. <laughs> but the face Connie made, that really reminded me of Yelena's face that she made in, like, episode two, I believe. I mean, I know when everybody saw that, they were, like, yo, what the fuck? That was kind of, like, what Connie's face was right there. That shit was really funny. Just, like, looked weird as hell. Uh, Loki looked like the face... <laughs> Loki kind of looked like All Might, bro. <laughs> You know when Deku like imitates the face of All Might? That shit geeks, bro. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so yeah, um, and then um, Armin and Gabby finally get there. They try and stop Connie, and Connie's like, nah, stay back. Puts the sword up to Falco's throat, starts taking him up the ladder. And then Armin's like, alright, you know, Gabby, I hope you can forgive Connie. And then he just decides to go up on the beam. And he's thinking for a little bit longer, but he decides to try and feed himself to Connie's mom since Connie, since Connie is so hell-bent on bringing his mom back. He's like, alright, you want your mom back? I'm like, I'm not about to let you sacrifice some innocent kid who was just turned into a titan. I'll sacrifice myself. And then that's when Connie jumped in and saved him at the last second. Thank God. He finally came to his senses. So that's where he finally realized, he, had, he got that guilt off his chest. He was like, man, like, you know, I wanted to be a soldier my mom is proud of. And that's what he's been doing this whole time, you know, and from the from the get go, but I feel like he started to doubt himself a little bit, and his um, he was running off of some of his emotions. Like he's just been wanting his mother to be back, and like he finally had an opportunity to with Falco. So yeah, he fucked up a little bit, but he he realized his mistakes, and they they had a little touching moment where they were talking, and Connie's like, you know what? Let's let's go let's go save some people as much as we can, Armin. And then right right when they while they were talking, Gabby was telling Falco like what uh, happened. Uh, entirely and so falco learned about his brother dying you know zeke the walls you know everything and now he's the jaw titan like i'm sure that was a lot for him to take in that was crazy <coughs> fast forward a little bit they get um to where the city where everybody's celebrating and stuff they're like shinzo sasuke oh you know devote your hearts and uh they're celebrating drinking having some food and uh connie and armin get Gabby and Falco some food as well and they end up sitting right next to Annie <laughs> like how they just nonchalantly like did that that was just funny as shit you're like wait a second isn't that her right there and then boom yeah they start having a conversation she dips with them leaves Hitch as she usually does and Hitch is like damn I gotta eat all this by myself now it's like oh well sorry and then after that where do we get to oh yes on the roof with Falco and John, uh, Falco, no, not Falco. What am I saying? Flock, Flock and John. Um, Flock starts uh, saying uh, the reasons why he's going to execute Onyokopon and Yelena, and um, Onyokopon for Yelena hasn't said shit. She's just a dep depressed little bird right now, ever since Zeke lost. But anyways, Onyokopon, <coughs> he was like. Bro, like I'm not gonna kiss up to you guys, like just just to, just for my life. Like my life isn't that valuable. Like I don't see it as that valuable to just kiss up to y'all and like just to, just to survive. Like now, nah, like I came over here, worked my ass off, um, did it for the benefit of y'all. Like I had there was no benefit in me doing this. Like I did it for for you guys. And what did I get out of it? My homeland crushed, my family dead, and like all these all, all you bitch ass motherfuckers too stupid to realize that this is the same thing that you were going through so i really like that you mentioned that because that's that's what the show does really well of is just like every it's all about perspective and that's what has kept the show going so long and why the writing is so good is because it's it's from everybody's point of view 
and uh, but like one, once at a time, you know, for for a while at the beginning of the show, it was just Aaron and his people's point of view, and then slowly and sure, slowly but surely, it gets to be other people's point of view. Reiner and Bertolt end up betraying them, and then like it gets 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 messy there. And then they end up learning where they're really from, and like, oh dude, it's so good, it's amazing. But uh, and then John, you know. You know, Al Capone was like, "Yo, John, like, say something. Don't just stand, don't just stand there, bro. Like, yeah, I, I know, I know, me and you are like good friends or whatever." And it, uh, he shoots his, he shoots his gun, and it like pans away. So for a second there, it was like, "Damn, did he really just do that?" But like, nah, bro. He just shot four times. That was the signal to get the plan underway. Cart Titan comes out of nowhere. John, I mean, it was part of the act, but you know, John saved Flock. You know, should have just killed his ass. Flock, get rid of him now. <laughs> but. uh Cart Titan took John, Onyokopon, and Yelena, and met up with Hanji, Magus, and Levi, and then Mikasa and the rest of them are on the way as we speak. And they just picked up they just picked up Reiner. <laughs> Reiner was still sleeping, bro. He was sleeping for like two fucking days. He wakes up to Annie kicking his ass in the face. <laughs> like, could, could you imagine? I hadn't seen buddy, I hadn't seen this person for four years, and then she she's the one waking you up from your slumber. Like, bro, what? And then you see, and then you see like you know, whoever's supposed to be your enemy, you know, like your old friends or, uh, yeah, your old friends there ready, ready to, ready to help you out instead of trying to kill you. Um, yeah, another amazing episode, guys. That's all I got to really say. That's everything I think that happened this one. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the next one. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. That was episode eight or episode 24. And we're going on to episode nine or 25 of the fourth season total so i'll see you guys in the next one deuces